Welcome back to Lockdown Home Safety Tips, episode number two. In the first episode, we looked at how a humble solo lima could be used to keep your house a little bit safer. And now we're gonna look at the role of endless possibilities found with the simple role of tapping, also known as tape. Last episode, we learned that the Samoan word for tea towel is solo lima. Now I'm gonna teach you the Samoan word for sellotape, which is a little bit trickier, sellotape. Because I do have two preschoolers all up in my bubble, they're playing indoors a whole lot more, which has meant a lot of bumps and bruises and injuries and tears, mostly from the children, which has led me to think of ways that we could keep our house a little bit safer. And the roll of tape has been super helpful to do that. So come with me and I'll uh, tape you around. <laughs> tape you around, that's a good one, right? Now our house has glass doors all over the place. Glass doors galores, if you <laughs> But these are a hazard because children can run into them quite easily. By taking the tape, you can make a line across the glass door, which is gonna make it so much more visible for children. A single line is a little bit boring, so you can really get a little bit creative and express yourself here. Ta-da! They better not leave marks on the windows. It's for the safety of our children, but for the safety of myself, I think we better just stick to the single line. Or maybe I should have stuck to the single life. <laughs> what was that? I said, you're the single greatest love of my life. Our almost two year old loves to switch things on and off and he yells. Flag. But lately he's been trying to plug things into the sockets, which is of course going to be super dangerous. Ideally, you want to buy those little plastic protectors that can go into the plugs. But if that's not a possibility, Tuffy will save the day. Problem solved. Yes. Power cords and wires that overhang benches are a safety hazard for children. If they pull on it, we're going to have kids being hit by falling pieces of furniture or appliances. We're stuck using an extension cord that runs over our laundry bench in order to plug it in our microwave from the 1980s. Do you reckon Briscoes would sponsor us a microwave? Email me on the phone. A super simple fix with our salad tape is simply to move that cord away from the water supply to stop it from hanging in the reach of children. We can just run it up and along over the window there. I mean, not me personally, because I can't reach, but a normal heighted person would probably have no problem doing this. Ta-da! And once again, tape makes you happy. Corners are pure evil. The corners of the bench tops, corners of tables. Now, when the boys are inside playing their little running around games, which they should not be doing, those corners become a potential for existential damage to their cerebral contextuals, which is detrimental to their fundamentals. Sorry for the big language, I'm just such an intellectual. <laughs> Yo, check out my mixed tape. By simply sticking something like a flannel to it using our trusty roll of tape, this corner is so much less dangerous now. Plus, it looks super stylish. Hey guys, what's this? A tape deck. The fridge door. This is such a game for Alex. He's forever running in the kitchen, opening the fridge door, closing it about 30 times a day. Admittedly, that's about 30 times less than what I'm opening and closing the fridge a day. But the potential danger for him is of course getting his fingers stuck in the door. The potential danger for me is of course morbid obesity. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Got sure. it. But with a couple of simple pieces to the fridge door, no way he's getting in there. Take that. You can't open it. Okay, okay, okay. Daddy, sorry. Alice, do you want some chocolate? Do you want some chocolate? Thanks for joining us for Lockdown Safety Tips Episode 2. Join us next week where we send the kids back to preschool and regain our lives. Just kidding, sort of. Bye! Glass doors galore. <laughs> if you were... My, sorry. My wife just finds me so funny. My gosh, I'm so funny. Can you just be a professional, please? See what happens in lockdown, guys. Go crazy. You laugh at your Amateurs. husband's chunk. <laughs>